outraged over a sexually violent offender's potential release. Police have notified one neighborhood of their new neighbor. The man targeted children spanning nearly two decades. He was convicted of molestation and sex crimes, and now he may be moving into a facility on Fountain Blue Drive. KKL 9 Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live in Menifee with more information. Nicole. Yeah, lots of neighbors are outraged about this potential placement. They say this man could be housed among some of the most vulnerable people they can imagine. It's the latest residential neighborhood a sexually violent predator could soon call home, an assisted care facility operating inside this house in Menifee. This one is so sad and so low life that they're using a house that is used for a care facility for two elderly Alzheimer's patients. Brian Hawley and Norma Zermano run the HOA that represents the facility. They say they feel like the state is now using senior communities as dumping grounds for child sex offenders. So they're theoretically farther away from schools and kids. Seniors are vulnerable because they're friendly. You know, they need somebody to talk to. My concern is, is him befriending people in that respect, and then something happens to that person. And that's what this predator is accused of doing, befriending people at Southern California churches to gain access to their children. Lawrence Philip Moff's recent photo has not yet been made public, but back in 1978, he was convicted of molesting two boys, seven and eight years old, in L.A. County. Then in 1997, Moff was convicted of sex crimes against a nine-year-old boy he met again through their parents at a church in Riverside County. He was sentenced to 11 years in prison and has since been at the Coalinga State Hospital. But a doctor there recently recommended his conditional release into the community, and a judge ordered it. Somebody is actually for once paying attention to our uh, cries for help. And Menifee police oppose the placement as well. They're urging community members to voice their concerns at a town hall meeting next Wednesday. And they'll present that information at a court hearing before MOF is officially placed. And the court hearing for that placement is coming up on July 29th. We'll have more information about that upcoming town hall meeting on our website, kcal9.com. Reporting live in Menifee, I'm Nicole Comstock. KCAL 9 News.